First off, let me just thank everybody on the call today for taking time out of your busy schedule to join us for today's webinar on iTarget recruitment campaigns and the solution that we can provide your agency. Uh, my name is Chris Giles, and for those of you who are new to us, let me just give you a quick background about our company. Uh, Tag Home Care Marketing is a marketing firm serving hundreds of agencies in the home care and hospice industry. Uh, we pull far from over 30 years of experience to create proven marketing products uh, and services to help you grow your referrals. Our products and services include sales and marketing coaching, customer relationship management, uh, done-for-you personalized marketing material, patient loyalty program, and many more tools to help you realize greater success. We work with marketers all over the country, coaching them about best practices for approaching each referral sector in their market with a targeted and professional message. Our home care sales coaches will blow you away with tons of referral boosting ideas. Uh, and at the end of the call, I will also tell you uh, how you can schedule your free coaching call. The flip side to building your business is being able to deliver your established quality care consistently. Uh, that's why we have a recruitment side, so we can help agencies recruit field staff. You'll see as we progress through the webinar today that what we do is totally different from what most agencies are familiar with. We help you attract the most qualified candidates to quickly fill your open position. So what we're going to go through today is an overview of what you as agencies are doing right now, show you what's working, what's not working, uh, and provide a solution. Uh, our clients have experienced phenomenal success in filling their open positions, and uh, we're going to show you how you can get there too. So the first thing we're going to discuss is the current state of affairs with the latest employment projection of healthcare professionals, especially nurses uh, here in the U.S. Nursing is designated to be the most in-demand profession through the next decade. According to the latest projections from the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, and this was published uh, back in the 2009 Monthly Labor Review, more than 581,000 new nursing positions will be created uh, through 2018. That's a 22.2% increase making nursing the nation's top profession in terms of projected growth. Now, the latest published Congressional Budget Office report found that the demand for RNs is expected to grow by 2 to 3 percent each year uh, through 2025. The shortage of registered nurses in the U.S. could reach as high as 500,000 by 2025, according to a joint report that was released uh, back in March 2008. Uh, and evidence shows that Nursing, shorting, nursing shortage trends remain unaffected by the current economic slowdown. Uh, on December 4th of 2009, the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics reported that the healthcare sector of the economy is continuing to grow despite significant job losses in nearly all major industries. Uh, hospitals, long-term care facilities, and other ambulatory care settings added 21,000 new jobs in November 2009. That was also a month when 85,000 jobs were eliminated across the country. Uh, as the largest segment of the healthcare workforce, uh, RNs likely will be recruited to fill many of these new positions. Uh, the Bureau of Labor Statistics confirmed that 613,000 jobs have been added in the healthcare sector since the recession began, uh, over half of those which require nurses. So, the general misconception that a slower economy has eased the nursing shortage is false. Uh, in fact, the Academy of Nursing Schools is concerned that the level of patient care will soon begin to diminish as the general public's attention has been diverted away from the need to secure trained nurses, uh, and the graduating nurses still do not compensate for the number leaving the workforce each year. And, by the way, uh, just a quick note here, you, you don't have to put all these stats to memory. I would be happy to provide printed copies upon request of this webinar text, uh, and of course I will make certain everyone has my email address uh, when we finish today's presentation. So to start it off today, we're going to discuss your clinical staff recruitment methods and look at the things you're currently doing, whether it be a monster or career, careerbuilder.com, something similar to that. Uh, or advertising in the newspaper, and talk about how effective they've been for, for you. Uh, from there, we'll go into a brief campaign overview and see why this iTarget solution is going to be so impactful to your agency. 
then we're then going to look at a detailed campaign. And in this, uh, we'll take a look at everything from the initial setup, uh, the needs analysis, if you will, to the final results. Uh, and then we're going to show you some pricing. And once you see everything that goes into these campaigns, you're going to be very interested in how we price this out. And I think you'll be pretty amazed at how cost and time effective this solution is. Uh, then we're going to finish it up with an exclusive offer that I have for everybody that's joining us on the presentation today uh, and a question and answer session. Just a few quick house housekeeping notes before we go any further. Uh, I do have everybody placed on mute mode. Uh, so if you have qu questions as we go through this presentation, please feel free to type those into the question box to the right-hand side of your screen, uh, and I will address those at the end of today's webinar. Then also after the webinar, I'm going to email you all a copy of the PDF uh, that's making up the bulk of this presentation. So uh, again, don't worry about writing down every little detail. So let's jump into it here. The number one recruitment method home care agencies use is classified. And I would venture to guess that all of you on the call have used or are still using these. One of the main problems that a lot of our clients faced, and the reason why we designed this program, is depending on where you advertise in the classified, uh, it can be extremely expensive. If you're in a larger area like a Dallas, Atlanta, Los Angeles, uh, any major market area, the ads in the classifieds are at a premium, and what you get for your money is a very small piece of real estate. And the worst part of that small piece of real estate is it's often overshadowed by not only your competition in home care, but competition in health care in general. So uh, when we talk about problems associated with the classifieds, the number one issue is return on investment. If you spend X amount on a weekly, monthly, or quarterly basis in the classifieds, do you have the numbers to back it up to say, yes, this is justified? Or are you like most of our clients in that you spend the money, but realistically, the leads that are coming in, they're not as qualified as they used to be. They're, they're not coming in bunches like they used to. Uh, and it's just not a good situation. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of the prospects I talk with, uh, I think, have fallen in the trap of, of assuming that classifieds are a necessity, and then that's just not the case. With classifieds, if you have the money, you can take out a full-page ad and, and draw attention like a big hospital. Uh, in that case, okay, yes, it might be an effective tool, but you know, I'll tell you, even now, the hospitals are struggling with those big ads, so there are a lot of problems that go along with this. Another area now is the online classifieds, and these have now basically taken over the role of the traditional print classifieds. Uh, the big paper here and, and many across the United States offer a combo where you can put an ad uh, in the paper and also have one in their online edition, but you run into the same exact problems as you would with print. Uh, the competition, return on investment, you've got all the same problems to deal with there. In, in addition, both of these methods of recruitment target the general public, which just wastes time. I mean, think about it. Why would you send a message to the general public if 95% of them don't meet your basic requirements? Most people have the basic requirement of having a license for home care, uh, and also for that you might you know, have the requirement of having one year of experience in home care. So why not focus your energy towards those individuals? The other main problem with the online sources and the general classifieds is that they don't cater to a specific type of individual. By that I mean there's a fundamental difference in people that you can target in your recruitment efforts. Uh, by far the biggest challenge I hear in recruitment is the need for agencies to separate themselves from the other opportunities. So, for example, uh, you're an upstart agency and you're looking to gain attention, or uh, maybe you're a nonprofit and the for profits can pay more. Well, guess what? If you're advertising with these types of methods, you're advertising to the general public, but also the job seeking general public. So, for those healthcare professionals, RNs, PTs, uh, CNAs, those individuals who are going there are going there actively seeking a job. And that's not a bad thing. Every now and again you might get a key employee from those, but it does definitely tell you that it's a different type of employee. Uh, a lot of times it's the one who is looking for the next best opportunity. I mean, you know, think about the turnover in healthcare or in your agency. There are reasons you can't keep people, but I bet every agency on this call can think of someone in your agency there who's a key individual. Uh, those ones 
you know are going to be with you. They're not going to jump ship for an extra five bucks here or there. Uh, they're not just going to leave out of the blue. Those are the key employees, and they're present in every type of agency and every type of healthcare setting. Our job at TAG is to get you in front of those people. Uh, they're what we call passive candidates. They're not actively seeking jobs, uh, not logging onto the job boards or going out to grab the Sunday paper. And it's, it's not that they're not interested in other jobs, but they're content where they are. So you can't rely on them to find you. You've got to get in front of them. And that's the idea behind the iTarget solution. Uh, you get in front of these passive candidates and give them the opportunity to find out more about your agency without, without having to speak with anyone, which uh, you'll see here in just a second. And, and once you catch the attention of these individuals, you can start selling. These are the people that you can sell your benefits to. You can sell your vision, uh, sell one-on-one -on -one time with patients, flexible schedule, everything that home care has to offer, which is very difficult to sell to individuals who are just looking uh, for the salary. Uh, I hope everybody understands that very fundamental difference there uh, in, in the way we go about helping agencies recruit. Uh, and, and I want to show you this here. Uh, when we look at Career Builder, I, I went there the other day, and what I did was I typed in Home Care for Dallas, Texas. Now, uh, remember I told you in, in the classifieds there's a lot of competition out there. Well, when we type in Home Care for Dallas, we come back with 401 jobs. Now, that's an awful lot of jobs for one city. And, and looking around the country at some other uh, major markets, Detroit, 279, uh, 187 in St. Louis, 208 in Miami, uh, 924 in New York City, and 507 there in Los Angeles. So, you know, you get the point there. There are a lot of job opportunities out there, and again, they're all in home care. What's even scarier is if we do the exact same search and we type in nurses instead of home care. And we did this, I did this again in Dallas, Texas. When that comes back in the same area, you're looking at 725 job opportunities. And it, it really doesn't matter if, it, if you're in a small setting uh, or a big setting because the numbers really equal out in each area. Uh, if you're in a big city, uh, you've got a lot of people to target, but you've got tons of competition targeting the same people. Uh, on the flip side of that, if you're in a small city, there's less competition, but you've got fewer people to target. So all in all, the ratios are very similar, and that's why this iTarget solution you're going to see works so well. So now I want to give you a very broad overview of how the solution works, kind of a look at 30,000 feet, if you will. Uh, we figure out what your needs are through conversation with you. So whether you need full-time or per diem employees, we match those needs against the database of individuals we have here internally, and we develop a highly personalized campaign. And, you know, if there's one key in this whole thing, it really is the personalization. It's the fact that uh, we're not just targeting your specific audience, uh, but we're targeting each individual. So we design a campaign based around that need. We send out highly targeted postcards, as you can see here up at the top, and I will certainly give you some much uh, bigger and in-depth look at these in just a second. And the goal of the card is to go to that person's house and give that recipient an opportunity to respond via a phone call to your agency uh, or an online system. And with the actual card, we try to send the recipient to the online response because, you know, we like you to be proactive if someone calls in. And just to give you an idea here, during our campaigns, when we mail these out, 70% of the response comes in on the computer side. It doesn't come in on the call in traffic. Then once you've got that information, we'll provide you with the response and the data that goes along with that. Uh, everything is provided in real time, so you'll know the contact information. You'll know how much home care experience they have where that home care experience lies. You'll know what they're looking for in an employer, whether it's flexible schedule, salary, location, team approach, outcomes. Uh, you'll, you name it, you'll know it. Uh, then at the end of the day, you'll have those qualified candidates that you can very easily follow up with, bring in, bring in for an interview, and hire them as quickly as possible. Now, the campaigns have a three-month lifespan. Uh, this thing here will be active for three months, You'll get about 80% of the response in the first two to three weeks, which are a lot of leads coming into your agency. But you'll be amazed at how many people hold on to the postcard, and in that third month, will come back, 
complete an online survey and you can follow up with them. It's just something we've seen in almost every campaign we've done. So after hearing the overview of, of how the system works, it may seem, well, that's no different than what you've seen before, but the way that this is different is that it's so all-inclusive and everything is personalized. It's, it's what we call variable data. When we send out a postcard, we can make sure that not only do we have the name, but as far as the image goes, uh, we're representing the ethnicity and the gender associated to that individual. Uh, you can also have a personalized website and have the benefits changed out by whatever discipline you are targeting. Uh, a lot of different things go into this, but at the end of the day, uh, what you need to be concerned with are the amount of leads that are coming into your agency and the information you're getting, which allows you to follow up extremely easily. Uh, again, the data is provided in real time, so uh, if Jane Nurse goes to the website and completes a survey, you receive an email with her information two minutes later. Uh, now, if you're a manager and maybe you've got some recruiters under you, uh, you can get that email and, and funnel it to them based on location. So you'll have all the information to get these candidates in-house and to hire them, and probably for the first time in the life of your agency, you figure out exactly what your cost per hire was. That's very difficult to do in a lot of cases, but with this, you're going to have all the information. You're going to see how many people respond, uh, how many people were qualified, how many were set up for the interview stage, and finally, how many were hired. So now I want to take you into a real-world example. Uh, this is from an actual campaign, and we're going to get uh, more into detail here, but just keep in mind that the end goal is to provide these leads and information to your agency so that you can hire these people on as quickly as possible. We're going to look at one of our clients, 3HC, and they were targeting nurses in some areas of eastern North Carolina. From a recruitment standpoint, the number one thing you need to know to be successful is, is what your needs are. So as you can see here, 3HC needed to hire nine full-time RNs, uh, and the open positions uh, were in some different territories throughout the uh, counties of eastern North Carolina. So what we then do, once we know your needs, we've got a database of millions and millions of records. We've got three full-time programmers here at TAG, and their only job is to manage our database of professionals and make sure it is as up-to-date as possible so that when we do a mailing for our client, we know the records for these individuals, uh, that they're still licensed, that they're still living in the areas, uh, and your campaign will be as successful as possible. So we've got these needs and information. We can go back and say, okay, how many nurses are actually in this service area? Uh, in some cases, if you're in a very big city, you may have 15 to 20,000 nurses located in that city. Well, if you just have a need of hiring two nurses, you don't need to target the 15 to 20,000. You actually don't even need to target a fraction of that. So figuring out what your need is, and more specifically in the big areas where your needs are, is very beneficial. Uh, and with some of the drill-down capabilities you can get uh, out of these lists, you can go back and, and say, okay, well, I want nurses with this amount of experience uh, to kind of narrow that list down if you're looking at the results and you've just got too many back, you can really get in there and drill down your results and target those individuals uh, that you want to. So once we match this information, the needs to what's actually available to target, we then have the campaign and we can figure out exactly what the target audience is going to be. So when we look at this from the get-go, this is before we did any design, uh, over a three-month time period we targeted just over 6,000 nurses. Uh, and you can see here we have this broken down by how many we're going to target in, in the different areas based on the needs. And this should give you kind of a quick look in, in the idea of, of the thought process that goes along with this. Now the other choice that 3HC made was that they chose to do one of our template campaigns. Uh, everything we're going to show you during this campaign is based around the template designs. Uh, towards the end of the webinar, I'm going to show you some examples of the custom design we offer, and, and I'll tell you a little bit more about why we offer that to some of our clients. Uh, but you can see, even on the template postcards here, they are extremely personalized and customized to the agency. Uh, the card not only helps for recruitment, but in some cases marketing, because if you're sending these to the nurses, uh, some of these may be in another healthcare setting, and it could get your name out there, and we've received some great testimonials about referrals coming in from these campaigns. 
But when we look at the postcard itself, the really neat thing you're no you'll notice here, uh, I mentioned we have first name there, but that's nothing out of the ordinary. Everybody's received a piece of mail that's got your name on it. It's uh, kind of second nature now. But what is unique is the fact that in those millions of records we have in-house, we overlay all of those with ethnicity and gender. So that when we send out a mailing on your behalf, the recipient is going to receive something that has a like image on it. Uh, now, the reason behind this is to increase the response rate. It's been proven that any time you can get more personal information in front of somebody, it's going to grab their attention and they're going to respond. That's the idea behind putting these images on here. Uh, as you can see, typically during our campaign, there are eight different postcards, meaning there are eight different images. You have the two genders, male and female, uh, and then you have the four major ethnicities, Caucasian, African American, Hispanic, and Asian. Other than the first name and the image, uh, there are other ways to personalize your campaign. You don't have to run a campaign uh, just for PTs and another campaign just for RNs. We can change all of that out uh, on every postcard, and I'll show you right here where we do that. As you see, we have their RN right now, but we can change that out for PT, so you don't have to do uh, two separate campaigns. But you can see uh, down here at the bottom, too, this is the only contact information we include on the front side of the card, uh, again, because we're trying to push people to that website so that we can track the data for you and make your life a little easier. Now, when we go in and we look at the back of the postcard, you'll see a very similar type of information. Again, the first name is personalized. We're going to give a brief history about your company, benefits, uh, reasons why a prospect is going to want to come and work there. Uh, and then going back to the front side one more time, uh, this is one of our standard messages. Now, we can change this out, and, and everything can be changed, but this postcard has a tremendous response through every discipline in just about every geographic area in the U.S., and it's because it focuses on flexible schedule. As we get into looking at the results of the campaign, you'll see flexible schedule is the number one benefit, whether it be a nurse or therapist uh, or whoever it may be, but the number one benefit prospects are looking for uh, in home care is that flexible schedule. And it's amazing how well received it is. Also, uh, on the back, we'll give you a phone number. Now, this, and you can see it up here, the 866 number. Uh, now, this is a number that we will provide to your agency. It will ring directly to wherever you want it to, and, and the good thing is it does track response also. Uh, it will have caller ID info, and, and I will get more into that here shortly. Uh, and then we throw in one last offer to get people to the website, which is the iPod Nano, uh, which we include in every one of our campaigns. It's, it's just something that will house that call to action to get, to get people to visit the website. Now, when a recipient receives the postcards, they've got two options. They can visit the personalized website or they can call you. So uh, we're going to take a look at the personalized website first. Uh, just like the postcards, everything is going to be personalized on these. Uh, the image is going to change out depending on the recipient. Uh, the first name is there. It's going to reinforce the benefits to your agency. And let me get you a little better look at the website here. And the, so again, the image is going to change out. You've got the first name there, reinforces the benefits, and, and we don't want to overwhelm the prospect with a lot of copies, so we just list those off as bullets. Uh, on the postcard, there's a passcode at the bottom. I can show you that you can see the passcode there uh, right underneath the 866 number in the website address. So they can take that passcode. All they have to do once they get to the site is enter that passcode in, and then they come to the most important part uh, of the whole campaign. This is why our clients come back to us and why many of our clients have not only filled their positions but started a pipeline. So if something were to happen to one of their current employees uh, or they were experiencing a good deal of growth, they can go back and hire somebody very quickly. Uh, this is the survey page. This is why we drive prospects to the website so that we can figure out all the information about that person. So in this case, you can see the first question, what is the position requested? Well, just a quick note on that, even though we only targeted RNs uh, in this campaign, we put others there too because occasionally an RN uh, may bring this into work and, and you may have an LPN or therapist fill this out, so you don't want to lose those either. Uh, the next question, when are you available to work? What are you interested in? 
how many years of nursing experience. Then the last question, which is the most important thing when choosing an employer, what, which, which is what is the most important thing when choosing an employer, I should say. This is such an important question. I mean, imagine the different scenarios that you have from a recruiting standpoint. If you put an ad in the paper and the only thing you tell people to do is call your agency, uh, you pick up the phone, you say, hey, this is Chris, I'm with ABC Home Care, how can I help you? Uh, well, I saw this ad in the paper and I was interested in the job. You're automatically on your toes there and reactive. And, and the reason I say this is because you have to figure out if the person is qualified, if they have a license, if so, how much experience, if they've got experience, where do they live, uh, and then finally, what are they looking for in a job? Uh, it, it's only when you have all those pieces of information that you can finally start selling your agency to them. So it's a very reactive approach, and it's difficult to do to get all that information uh, and still sell your agency. Now imagine if that was flipped. Imagine if you had all the information, if you knew they were qualified, you knew exactly how much experience they have, even specialty experience. Uh, you knew what they were looking for as far as work, you knew the most important thing to them when choosing an employer. That is the major benefit that we provide uh, through these iTarget campaigns. The fact that you can sit down, you can print out that info, uh, you can download it to Excel, and, and you can literally call that individual right back, or you can send them an email, whichever you prefer, and lead that conversation and get those individuals inside for an interview very quickly. Uh, plus, you can sell your agency to them even easier because you already know what they're looking for. Once they fill out the survey, it takes them to a page that verifies their information. Uh, we'll already have name and address, but we also request that they give us email and phone. I would say about 90% of the time we do get both email and phone number. Uh, in, in probably about 25% of the cases, we also get a cell number. So these are the individuals who are looking and interested in your opportunities. And, and then once they complete that page, they're taken to a thank you page. This email you see here is sent out to them and it also acts as an alert to you, our client. Uh, we'll copy you on every email like this that comes through so you'll know the information is there for you to review. And, and again, this is coming in real time so you don't have to worry uh, about not being able to follow up. So once you've got this alert, all you have to do is visit our dashboard that we set up. Now, uh, when we do these campaigns and set this up and mail this, of course, so we'll have another uh, webinar with your group to make sure you understand this. Uh, it's certainly not rocket science here, but the, the information and data we provide back to you is definitely the nuts and bolts of the program. So we, we want to make sure that everyone in your organization who needs to understand this does, uh, and we'll take care of you there. Now this provides you with two things. Uh, the first are the actual leads, the information uh, that actually comes in from the campaign. These are the prospects that completed the survey. Uh, and keep in mind, again, this is just the online response. We've not talked about the call-in traffic yet. So when we look at the leads, everything is divided up into batches so that we can see how many leads are coming in on a daily basis. Uh, and you can see the response level we get is very high. And you can click on any one of the individual leads, and it brings up the actual lead report. Now, this is something you can simply print out, uh, have the information in front of you while you're talking to someone and take notes, you can download it into that Excel file I talked about. The Excel file can be formatted to go into uh, whatever system you're using if you have a, a contact management system there. If you don't use anything digital, it might be a good idea to copy those notes you're taking on paper into an Excel file because you're going to fill the open positions. And the idea behind this is to set up that pipeline and so that Excel file can be that one of qualified candidates uh, to fill your future needs. But if you look at the sheet again, you're going to have all the contact information. Uh, you've got questionnaire results, which are uh, the same survey questions we saw before. And the other area you're going to be interested in is here under the survey tab. Uh, this is where, from a management perspective, at the end of the day, you can say, okay, how well did this campaign perform for us? We seem to have gotten a lot of leads. We hired some people. How well did this work out? Well. You can see here we sent out just over 6,000 cards. And I'm going to get my little pointer guy up here just to go through these with you. Okay, so you can see right here is where I'm talking about. We sent out uh, just over 6,000 cards. Uh, of that, we had right at 2% that actually visited the website. 
And again, this is just the online traffic, not the call-in traffic. Uh, of that, we had 88 actually completed the online survey. So 88 individuals gave us their information online. And what's great about this is you can use this information to do any type of future marketing, uh, whether it's an open house or planning for growth. Uh, you can see what everybody in your area is looking at. Now going down here to some more of the uh, survey statistics, as you can see under when are you available to work, 47.5% uh, of respondents are available to work on weekdays. Uh, what are you interested in? Well, most folks were interested in a combo of, of the per visit and the full time. When we go here and we look at experience, well over 40% have more than 11 years of nursing experience. And by the time we get down here to the last part, the, the flexible schedule, you can see by far this was the number one for what was most important when choosing an agency. Now I know I've moved through this pretty quick and, and as we get your agency in and campaign designed, we'll take a much larger look at this and, and make sure everyone in your agency understands the ins and outs for the system. Uh, but for now, we're going to move into looking at the other option that everybody has. So when we mail these out, now we're to that point to where individuals can decide to respond via online, which we just discussed, or through the call-in response. So we're going to look at the call-in traffic, see how this system also helps you uh, with that proactive response that's so important to you. We'll give you the access to the login. This system we call Tag Call Tracks, and it provides some tremendous reporting capabilities. All you've got to do is click on the Reports tab, and you can get a detailed breakdown of every call that comes in. Now, again, what we do, you give me the phone number that you want incoming calls to come into. Uh, then we provide you with an 800 number that rings directly to that. That 800 number allows you to track this information so you have basic caller ID info. Uh, in some cases, it may be a cell, and you can't get street address. Uh, but as you can see in this case, we do have some that have the street address in there. And we have a one-click button that can take you to a MapQuest view. And let me show you that so everybody understands what I'm talking about here. This is the, the button here for the MapQuest. Uh, so, you know, in some cases, uh, you may be in a rural area and might not be familiar with every little city and town you hear of, so with one click of a button, you can figure out, yes, this, this might be a good fit, or no, this person has got a heck of a long drive and, and only wants to work in this area. Another important piece of information we provide is this little speaker button right here. We include MP3s of every single conversation that comes in on that phone line. Uh, we do this for quality assurance. We want to be sure your campaign is successful as possible. So. For instance, if a hurricane comes through, we want to be sure that if somebody wants to get in touch with your agency, they can. So if, if the phones are down, you could forward this uh, phone to a cell or, or wherever you want to have it. Uh, another maybe more practical example uh, for some of the smaller agency out there, maybe the, the main phone is your call-in number that you provided us with. Well, if a prospect receives this postcard when they get home from work at 5 and they call the main number, what's going to happen? Uh, they're going to go to the answering service, and if the answering service is not on board, then the prospect is probably not going to get the right answer, and you're not going to hear from them again. So we will check this, especially during the beginning of the campaign, not listening to the calls, but uh, seeing if we've got a lot that are going unanswered. Uh, if so, we may just take a quick listen to see if that's the case. Then we'll call you and, and say, hey, you might want to explain to your answering service to send the prospect to the website or, or to call back between 8 and 5. Several different things you can do there, but at the end of the day, it's something that's there for you. And, and again, we want to make sure that your agency is successful as possible. Another great feature, and it involves the reporting aspect of this system, uh, are the graphs and information you can look for. Now, we had a client in Atlanta. They were having difficulty figuring out when they could take half days. I think there was a, a new mother there that, who was trying to figure this out. Well, as you can see here, calls by day of the week, we can report on what's your busiest day of the week and, and when to expect the most phone calls. You can also look at this uh, when it comes in by hour. Uh, I often suggest at the beginning of the campaign to look at that information during the first week. Uh, then what you may want to decide, for, for example, in this case, we certainly don't want to take a late lunch. 
uh, because that's when you know most of the calls are coming in. If we target a larger area where there are a lot of cities, it's often nice to know where that response is coming in from, and, and we can break this down by city and, and show you this. All the information is designed so that you and agency can say, you know, this is what my cost per hire was. So you can figure that out, which it's, it's a little bit foreign for home care recruiting, but it's something that's possible with this solution. Now, I've gone through pretty much every aspect of this campaign, so I want to go ahead and show you what the actual results were here. Again, we targeted just over 6,000 nurses that were in various counties of eastern North Carolina. Of those there, we had 88 complete the online survey. Now, these were all unique surveys, not one individual going in there multiple times to get the iPod. Uh, we do this by IP address to ensure that these are all unique. So on top of the 88 completed surveys, we had 32 unique calls. Uh, we don't count the individuals that happen to call more than once on the 800 number. And so that there gives us a total of 120 unique leads. Campaign price for these, everything included, was right at 8,800. Uh, when you divide that by the actual number of leads, which was 120, uh, we get a cost of $73 per lead. Now, uh, we're going to go over the pricing here in just a few minutes, but as I mentioned at the very beginning, the postcards we used for this campaign was based around one of our template designs. Uh, we do offer custom campaigns, and we do this on occasion for a couple of reasons. The template campaigns work great, but if you've got something that, that sets your agency apart, some type of unique selling proposition, we might decide that uh, we want to design a campaign around that. Uh, as you can see here, offering a car for full-time nurses and therapists, that's a pretty unique selling proposition. So uh, we decided to use that. And if you look here, uh, the back of the image that changed out on this one was actually the rear view mirror. So uh, we had eight different versions of this. Everything else is still geared the same way. We've got the iPod drawing them to the website uh, and, and the phone number as well. Another reason we can do this is if there's a, a unique scenario in your area. Uh, we worked with Gentiva in their south region, uh, in, in Georgia and South Carolina, and one of the things they noticed was not so much something that they directly had to offer to prospects, but a problem that a lot of healthcare professionals experience in that area, and that's traffic. This was around Atlanta, and traffic is miserable in Atlanta. So what we did was we decided to build something around working close from home. Uh, e even though they're traveling, it wouldn't be this campaign. Instead of the iPod, since we're talking about traveling, uh, we offered and Gentiva paid for a, a GPS unit. So you can imagine uh, this was an extremely successful campaign. Some of the other things we've done on personalization, uh, this one is a little bit different. You can actually see where the name here uh, is in the sand. Uh, and we can, the sky's the limit with these. We've done it to where the name is coming out of fireworks. We actually did a very, very cool campaign uh, with the name as the Hollywood sign. Uh, but you can see here, uh, again, this is uh, part of the custom campaign. The design uh, carries over with those, and on the back side we're given the same, the same type personalization, brief information about what's going on, listing the benefits, uh, and again, at the top, uh, another offer. So probably a lot of you are interested in how the pricing works. Uh, I know I talked specifically about 3HC and, and showed the pricing for that, but the pricing is based on one rate uh, called a per card rate. Everything that you have just seen today, the list of individuals that we purchase and manage from the state, the postcard design for the template campaigns, the customization to your agency, the actual printing of the card, the postage, the website, the data tracking systems, both online and the call tracks, all of that is included in the per card rate. So depending on the quantity your agency will be looking at, it ranges between close to $3 per card for smaller campaigns uh, to closer to a dollar per card uh, targeting larger campaigns. And depending on the target area, it will fluctuate anywhere in between that. Uh, and unless we're talking about the custom design, which is a one-time fee that I've got up here, there are no other associated fees. That's it. Uh, all we require is a 50% deposit. Uh, then we'll get with you uh, and, and we'll get your, your needs together. We'll get your print ready logo, customized copy, make sure the message differentiates your agency, set up those websites, uh, and get it in the mail stream. 
Typically for a template campaign, uh, we're looking at about two to three weeks turnaround time, uh, especially if it's your first campaign because we will have to design and customize everything there for your agency. Uh, but if, if six months down the road you've grown and you need to run another campaign, we'll be able to get that out in half the time because we won't need to worry about changing the logo and color scheme, things like that. Uh, but you can see, everything that we have discussed today uh, is included in this pricing. Now, I'd like to offer everybody a, a, a special offer here for attending today's webinar. Uh, Tag Home Care Marketing owns hundreds of thousands of verified state nursing and therapy prospects from every region of the country. Uh, because you have decided to attend the webinar today, uh, I would be happy to give you a free personalized market analysis of all the nursing and therapy professionals uh, located within a 50 or 100 mile radius of your agency. Uh, this is a free, no obligation report that should prove to be invaluable to your agency as you grow your revenues uh, and referrals. I am also allowed to reduce the total cost of custom campaigns by 20% off published pricing, and that will go to all attendees of today's webinar uh, till the end of this month uh, on August 31st. So it's a great time to try our proven solution, and it's only guaranteed to bring in qualified applicants. And as promised, uh, I will personally set up a time convenient to your schedule to speak to you about this or any other sales and marketing challenges you may be facing. Uh, I also mentioned in the beginning we have home care sales coaches on staff. Uh, if any of you would like to take part in a free coaching call, uh, you'll get some strategies that you can use immediately in the field after the call. You'll be amazed. Please contact me and I will be more than happy uh, to set that up. I've got my email address here uh, and phone number as well. Thank you everybody so much for attending the webinar today. Uh, I'm going to answer some of the questions I have already re received through the web box here. And, and please feel free to post any additional questions or requests, uh, and, and I promise to answer each one individually. And uh, please don't forget to attend the entire series of webinars. The next scheduled one we've got, The Secret to Patient and Client Loyalty, uh, that's going to be next Thursday, same time. And uh, again, thank you all so much. I'm just going to take a 10-second break so I can get a sip of water, and then we'll get into the questions here. So we do have a couple of questions that have come in here. Uh, and, and the first one is, is, I was thinking about options of second mailers to the same list. Is that available, and what's the cost? Uh, yes, that is uh, certainly available, uh, but it is more cost-effective uh, to order both campaigns at once you can kind of do one run through production with the cards together, uh, and then obviously uh, the, the, the second one is heavily discounted depending, of course, uh, on the count on the cards there. Uh, another question I have here, uh, do I have to pay for the list each time, or can I pay just for the postcard and mail out quarterly? Uh, if, you sign out, if you sign up for quarterly mailings, uh, no, we do not charge for the list again. Uh, and again, your, your subsequent campaigns uh, will, will certainly uh, be a little less than the first one that goes out. I've got a question here. Uh, is any of my competitors sending out the same cards, and how do I prevent this? Uh, this is a great question here. Uh, certainly, when we work with you in the very beginning talking about your needs analysis, uh, we can tell you if there are any areas uh, that conflict with another client of ours. Uh, and the way that we uh, prevent this from happening from two competitors going after the same folks, uh, we will actually give you market exclusivity for your mailings uh, while your personalized websites remain active. I do have a question here about uh, do we need to sign up for the market analysis or will you automatically send it? Uh, if you could just send me a request to the email address I have there, uh, then I can uh, get in touch with you and, and certainly prepare that for your agency. So just. Uh, send me a quick request at chris.giles at the uh, adamgrp.com. A good question here, uh, does this work for referral sources too? Uh, and the answer is yes, it's very effective. And we do have both seniors listed by age, income, and self-reported conditions. All right. Well, it looks like that will do it. Again, thank you so much uh, for attending the webinar today. Hope you have a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much, everybody.